Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to give you an update. I know I haven't talked much the past few videos, but today I'm going to take some time to explain what we've been working on the past few weeks and what we're going to work on today. So we've been busily chainsawing lines through the uh, property that my wife and I are going to uh, soon settle in or build a home site on. Um, basically what we're doing is clearing out spots, surveying it and getting a straight line. So when the actual surveyor comes out, he'll already have a good idea of where we want the, the borders done. So basically it's just been a lot of chainsawing, putting flags in, taking a, a surveyor util tool and getting straight lines marked. Um, I think you'll see some of the flags that we've set up already. So forgive me for not explaining in detail here lately, but hopefully today um, we'll have some more explanation as we go um, and just keep watching. So we got the pole saw fixed after $300 for the pole and about another $100 worth of mental breakdown trying to put it together. Uh, basically we took these two, loosened them up, pulled the old pole, the, the part out of the old pole, then loosened it up down here. And of course we took this whole handle apart and this is what we struggle with putting back together is three springs to, that control all of this. And it looks like that spring came loose on that one. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Let's see. Yeah, right? Let me just finish it off. Huh? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, are you recording still? So, I know I mentioned in my one of the last videos that we had bought bought some DeWalt battery battery powered chainsaws, and we got this Flex Volt 16 inch chainsaw. Uh, I'll post the link uh, in the description here. Uh, pros, you don't have to deal with two two cycle or two cycle mixture oil like this stuff right here which you can get in the can uh other pro uh it's lighter much lighter than a regular chainsaw uh it does last about two hours constant cutting um downside is it only lasts about two hours and the battery takes about two hours to fully charge so when you're out here in the middle of nowhere and don't have any way to charge it, except for 
the little jackery um you know it kind of it kind of puts a hamper on things where with the normal chainsaw you just put more gas and keep going so do it over again i'd probably still get it because once we get this cleared out this is perfect for home use and when we get moved out here i won't be like mass cutting trees down we'll be cutting some here and there this is perfect for for the little cedar trees that we got around here This stuff here? Okay. <laughs> I wanted to get a marker right here close. Okay, let me get on the, all this stuff back here. Make it worse.
here and put fuel in it and the chain wouldn't move. So I thought you seized it up because there was dirt all inside of it. Oof. Then I realized you had the chain break on. I did. I think it's, well, I think it's still trying to get the fuel back through it. Yeah, we've been calling for you. Can I pull the choke? Yeah, I thought we had froze, froze it up. It's like a bomb, maybe? I don't think we don't even worry about it. I think he's always said that he's had issues. 